Uh, morning, Vesh uh, Pagamile. Uh, uh, for starters, uh, we understand there's already been a relatively good turnout so far. Yes, Joanne. Um, as we stand here, the numbers are increasing by the hour. What we've been told by IOC officials is that so far about 200 people have voted in this particular ward. As I mentioned earlier, about 2,400 people are expected to vote in this particular voting district here at the school in Ward 9. Now, I actually have the DA's national spokesperson, Musi Maimani, here with me. We're going to chat a little bit about his reflections of the election so far. Musi, you've been here since this morning. What have been your thoughts about um, this election, about um, the, the people here today? I think the, the spirit has been good. I think the community is engaged in the issues. I think that what's been absolutely positive is to see the turnout that's been going on. Uh, and so we, we certainly are very pleased with some of, the, some, some, some of the activities that have been taking place outside this particular voting station. It's just we have raised some concern with what's happening inside, but, but indeed we've got to just keep focusing on getting voters to turn out. You spoke about some concerns that you, 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 you raised with election officials. What were some of the issues that, that, that came out, some of the things that you witnessed as the DA? Well, what is clear is that obviously it started with the delivery of food parcels into the community. And, 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 and I mean, that is a legitimate concern because these are taxpayers' money being used in a very crucial period such as this one. Equally so, there's this another challenge of making sure that there have been people going into the voting area and fairly branded uh, uh, material. You're not allowed to do that as per IEC regulation. And so we feel that the integrity of the elections must be maintained. We must make sure we keep doing that so that the outcome of what happens in this election is a free and a fair one. Mm. We have spoken to some election officials about that issue. Um, at this stage, they said that they haven't confirmed anything, but obviously we'll, we'll, we'll take it forward. Sorry. But um, on the issue of the food parcels, interestingly, when we asked the ANC, uh, specifically by Tabile Lamini, the Minister of Social Development, about this issue of them handing out food parcels, she denied that this was an election tactic and said that they were, you know, this is part of their camp, not their campaign, but this is part of their work a social development in the area um, what is your response to that yeah it's I mean it's a it's an amazing coincidence that it happens to take place on the eve of elections it happens to take place in this particular ward as a point of interest which so I don't know I don't see how one uh, uh, South African cannot draw the correlation between the two and what is clear is that in fact the contest of the elections isn't about the efficiency of the municipality, isn't about the fact that the Toko municipality has delivered to its citizens. It's in fact about other things that are not even of municipal competencies. No one should be in denial about the fact that people must be fed, we must look after the poor. But it's a bit disingenuous when you use it at a moment like this and in fact for a purpose that benefits a political party. And to bring back the issue to the Tlokwe municipality, the ANC has actually said that they believe that they are the true custodians of this area. They were elected in 2011 by this local community. They believe they'll be elected again in this by-election. They think that you have taken control of the area through the back door and through a council meeting. What is your response to that? I'm always, I'm always amazed at the creativity people find in, in justifying certain things. Let's get the facts straight here. It was ANC councillors who voted out an ANC mayor. And then the very same councillors elected democratically a DA, a DA councillor to be their mayor. How is that illegitimate? How is that not democratic? It's part of the system. What the ANC must sort out, rather than trying to make these allegations, is sort out the Northwest and make sure it's a coherent province, rather than arguing the case as to what it is. And what is very clear is the fact that since Professor Combrek has come on board, there's been a lot of activity taking place. So, so our focus really is about Tlokwe. Okay. Well, there you have it, Joanne. Uh, I will be providing you with regular updates on the situation here at these by-elections in the Ward 9 in Bochastrom. News that moves. ENCA.com.